This is day one of week eight, being vegan. Whoop, whoop. Honestly, I didn't know if I could make it this far, but uh, now it's just kind of uh, second nature and um, it's just it's just my life. So I'm uh, really happy about that. I, I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited about being vegan that I like tell everyone. It's weird, like I don't wanna be a judgmental vegan or anything, so, but I'm really proud to be vegan. So I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So week week eight, day one, um, like I'd have to say these last seven weeks have been just a really, it's been a really nice transition. You know, again, it, of course, my situation is probably different than most, uh, but maybe not. I don't know how many spouses or people that are in relationships with vegans that aren't vegan then become vegan so maybe there's people out there that know this but because my wife's been vegan for years it's just been a pretty smooth transition um the some of my biggest worries uh when going vegan was uh, one was losing strength thing um so you know i'm just as strong as ever um I, the other concern was just craving, craving me because I, I, I must say, even though I gave up um, beef and pork like uh, a few, a couple years ago, um, basically beef, beef and pork, there were times, you know, whatever, but still, I, I just didn't, I stayed away from it for years. And, but with chicken, I, I, I loved chicken, so. I didn't know, and seafood. I didn't know if I could make it, but it, but um, really um, understanding why I do it um, has gone a long way for me. So like understanding that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it like, I'm not doing it just because I wanna uh, eat healthier. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this because I really wanna be a good human being. Not to say that, I'm not saying that meat eaters are bad human beings. I'm just saying that with the information I have, what I think is right for me, that's how I feel like I can make my contribution to the world. And so I choose not to take the life of another, another taking life. So I'm, I'm, I decided that I'm not gonna do that so that I can so, so it could be convenient for me to get calories that I need to live, right? So knowing that I can get those calories and those nutrients from other sources besides um, besides taking a life, then that's that's how I feel like I need to live. So that's what I do. So that's knowing that and like, you know, walking into a grocery store with a deli that has the, the smell of the, the roasted chicken coming in from the kitchen, understanding that that's honestly really um, um, making the connection that that's, even though growing up, it's like that's been a smell that's been like, oh, enticing and, and, and delicious. It's now, um, in the words of my wife, like it's burning flesh and it's like, oh, so now making that connection and really understanding and really making it a part of like my um, fabric, I guess, um, makes it easier. But I have to admit those, there's, there's still times where I'm just, I will have that throwback of like, ooh, that smells so good. But understanding that that's just my body telling me, hey, go eat some protein. So as soon as I get some protein in me, um, you know, whether it be by a protein shake, whether it be by uh, hummus, um, whether it be by falafel or um, my, <coughs> and I can't say it enough, Beyond Meat, thank you, thank you, thank you for your um, products um, and, and having them pea protein based. They have been amazing from the, the, the beef crumbles to the uh, or beefless crumbles to the, um, to the Beyond Meat uh, plant-based uh, burger. 
um, the ha oh, amazing like I would have to say those are you know once I once I get that in me it's like those cravings are gone like that don't even they don't even not even a, a, an ounce of, of craving uh, chicken or seafood or anything like that so just understanding that understanding what my body's really telling me um, instead of just you know giving in to that convenience of like hey I can just go get some chicken be all right and 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 move on with my day just understanding hey that's no it's not okay um, understand why you're doing this so that's why I do it so um, getting over that is has been a big one um, you know finding things that I love and you know like even before I became vegan I, that's kind of what I did I would find the things that I like stuck to them and and that's what I ate so you know finding this beyond meat beef crumbles putting that well um, like my go-to is just some mixed vegetables um, some stir-fry vegetables you know um, some uh, some uh, what's it called uh, snap peas mushrooms onions green pepper red pepper spinach you know getting all that put together with the, my beefless crumbles on some brown rice that is a ha oh, amazing that's like that's my go-to so and it's, it's simple easy um, and uh, quick so that's that's what I look for when uh, when I when I've always you know basically made food at home so um, finding that has been great um, some other concerns that I might have had uh, before going vegan of not being able to stick to it I guess you know like I mean I think that's um, I think that's a lot of different things that we know um, that may be good for us but we're afraid of either the unknown or afraid of failing um, and just understanding that hey I'm trying to do something good and and understanding that yeah sure the the flesh is weak um, but the fact that I'm I'm trying and really going on this path of doing what I feel is right um, just like with anything you know whether it be you become more whatever in your belief system you know if you're if you're wanting to give more to that or or be more um, be more you know if you if you're into religion if you're wanting to be more religious or be more uh, Christ-like or you know or whatever you want to be to, to, to in your belief system makes you feel like will make you a better human being there's gonna be setbacks and so understanding that hey I may not be perfect at this, um, but I'm I'm just gonna give it a shot anyways. And then um, I probably, the other thing is just, so yeah, so getting over that um, has, that, that made it easier to just understand, hey, if there's a time where I do feel like having an ice cream cone because I love ice cream, um, like not to beat myself up about it and just all of a sudden be like, oh, I can't do this, it's it's over, I can't be a better person. I, I was gonna go back to being uh, not so good of a person that I know I can be, right? Um, that's just not how life works. So um, so yeah, but it's, I can say for the last eight weeks, like I've been, or seven weeks, day one today of eight, week eight has been just, you know great and and not slipping at all not slipping into the temptation of of you know eating whatever um because you know even if i hate wasting food and my son is seven and um you know i'm i don't you know i just now started becoming vegan so i had him i've had him eat whatever he's wanted to eat but having him understand you know what he's eating you know has really helped him to just be more aware but he still eats you know meat and he still eats um even though he doesn't eat any beef or pork in my house uh, you know he still goes to grandma and grandpa's house and you know i can't force them to uh, do whatever so um you know he'll eat whatever but when i i still will make him a piece of salmon and uh the the craving will be there um and even when he wastes it you know i'm just the the temptation to just be like oh I'll, uh, 
you know, I'll just finish it up because you know it's already been made, it's already been cooked. Uh, might as well just eat it up. I'm, I'm still doing my part, but just getting past that and like, no, that's not like really the principle of it. Just not gonna do it. So I just give it to the dog. Um, so he's happy. I'm happy. Wherever. Um, so yeah, getting over that and. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Um, it's been great. There are, again, like I said, being a lifelong, um, I mean, I'm Samoan. That's this that's part of our diet. That's, I mean, come on. When you picture, uh, you picture a Samoan uh, get together a Kongai or, uh, you know, a, a, a wedding, you know, anything like that, you know, most of the time you picture that pig just sitting there on that, on that table, which is disgusting to me. You know, I, even growing up with it, you know, now knowing what I know, it's just like, man, it's not right, poor pig. But hey, that's just, I get it. Um, you know, it's gonna take a long time for for people to come around and, you know, I don't, I don't judge them, um, you know, to each their own, but I will let them know I don't think it's right. So, um, and I'm not gonna do it and I'm not gonna participate in it, so. Um, that's just, yeah, that's just where I'm at. So, um, yeah, feeling great. Let's, uh, yeah, till the next time. Hopefully I can, uh, keep this going more regularly. I haven't made a video in a few weeks, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, 